hey guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl Amuka here and i'm back with another special video for you guys if you are new here welcome if you are returning welcome back thank you guys for joining me yet again for another episode of wedding planning wednesdays i am super excited to see you guys and i'm super excited about today's video let's get straight into it all right so for today's video we are going to be talking about wedding dress shopping that is the most important part for every bride or let me not speak for every bride but for myself that was one of the most important parts and the most exciting one as well from my experience i only went to one bridal shop to try on dresses and i think i only tried on one dress and i was like this is how i want my dress but my dress was custom made so i tried it and i went there with the designer that made my dress but I just tried it so we could see how the layers work, if I still really want a big Cinderella dress, all of that stuff. But anyways, this video is supposed to help you ask the right questions when you're wedding dress shopping, stay within your budget, and just overall have a good stress-free experience. Veil. We're saying yes to the veil. Woo! <laughs> All right, so let's get straight into our tips. For tips, like I mentioned, I only went to one wedding dress shop. You do not have to be like me and go to just one, but I will recommend not going to more than five. I would stay within the three range, but definitely don't give yourself too many options because with too many options, you become super overwhelmed and super like confused. That is the honest truth. <laughs> um, another tip is not to try on too many dresses. If you have tried on about 15 to 20 dresses, I think that's enough because like I said, you don't wanna give yourself too many options and leave yourself confused and like, you know, overwhelmed. If you try on a dress and you look at that dress and you know it's the dress, you will know that you know that it's the dress, okay? Anyway, before we continue, <laughs> I just wanna say, I think I enjoyed this series mainly for the fact that I can dress up in bridal attire. I look like a pastor's wife today, but it is very fun for me. Let's get back into the video. All right, so once you know that it's the dress, you will know. So that goes back to not going to too many bridal stores and not trying on too many dresses. But if you know it's the dress, you will know. So don't pretty much lead yourself to confusion and keep trying on so many dresses if you get to that 40 dresses at this point you're just having fun <laughs> because it is no longer about picking the dress that's a lot of dresses to try on in order to narrow down your decision um, I would definitely say do your research online for me that is something I did way 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 before even meeting my husband <laughs> I knew the kind of dress I wanted and that is just the girly girl in me. I knew exactly what I wanted, how I wanted it and then when it was time for my wedding I just had to confirm that and be like okay I tried it on, I still like it and now we're going to do it the way I want it to be. Um, so narrow down your search by searching and doing research online. Uh, look at the price. That leads me into my next tip. <sighs> Money. Again, I know what is your budget for your dress if your budget is three thousand dollars to five thousand dollars that is very doable actually even for the big cinderella dresses and all that stuff it is very doable and you get a good range of outfits to try or dresses to try on but stay within your budget if you do not something else is going to have to give so um make sure you search online to see what the actual cost of those dresses those gowns are so that you can stay within your budget and set a realistic budget okay if you said something for like oh i want a wedding dress that's a hundred dollars but i want it brand new and custom made it is not possible it will not be possible unless you make it yourself and if you can good good for you but if you're trying to get it from somebody like or go to a bridal store and buy one you have to be realistic and set a realistic budget and stick to it 
With going to a bridal store, another tip for that is be open-minded. You might go in there thinking that, oh, I'm such a Cinderella girl, I need the big ball gown, and that is it. But you might go in there and you try something on, like a mermaid dress or something, and you fall in love. So be open-minded, don't just go there looking for the specific thing, because you might miss an opportunity to get something that was even better. Um, with also going to a store, another tip is create a vision board. You can create one on your phone, you can create an actual physical one on like a cardboard paper or something, but have pictures of dresses that you actually like and I will say three different styles of dresses to narrow it down with that. Like try three different styles if you want a ball gown, if you want a mermaid gown, if you want something with a sweetheart neckline. All those different things will help you when you go in store to actually try the dresses on. So create a vision board. It is very, very important. <sighs> I'm sorry to say this, but know when to stop shopping. It is enough when it is enough. If you have not picked a dress after 40 dresses, you need to go back to square one and start again. But if you know it's a dress, you will know. So you need to also know when to stop shopping. I understand it can be fun for some of us. Personally, I'm not um, an in-store shopper, so I don't enjoy it too much. But if you are the type that likes to go in store, try on clothes and dress up and all that, then you need to like, tell yourself yeah it's time to stop shopping awesome another tip that we need to consider is who we are going with i know you want to probably take all your bridesmaids and you want to take your mom your grandma your uncle your auntie everybody even the groom but i'm sorry to tell you this that we are still in the middle of a pandemic and they might not allow all your guests but also besides the pandemic go with people that are not negative we do not want no negative nancy's if they have nothing good to say do not go with them we all have someone like that that we know. Hopefully you cut them off and you know don't have that negative energy around you. But if it's just somebody that is around and that is how they are, always giving negative feedback in the, in the name of being honest, then I would just suggest not going with anyone that's gonna be negative. This is your day, you are the bride. You are taking on all the stress on planning this amazing, huge event and you just want to feel beautiful you just want to wear a dress that you love and if you have someone that's going to be negative and going to be a hater cut them off or just not go with them <laughs> besides like doing research besides you know knowing when to stop shopping besides you know don't try too many dresses on the last thing i would say is or the last two things i would say is research 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 and budget what is your budget have a budget before going in there because if you do not you will surely 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 definitely pass your budget because they will be like this is free range we can just give her whatever she wants and you know but cap it at something if you and i would say a good budget for a wedding dress depending on your style based on what i saw will be that three thousand dollars to five thousand dollars you could get something really nice within that budget and less but if anything more than that it is a personal preference but for me we stayed within the three thousand to five thousand um range and it worked perfectly for us but i mean technically we passed it because my dress was custom made by my fabulous 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 chris um he made my dress but with all the fabric and everything that we bought i'm probably sure we passed the budget but in store a dress like that was like three thousand to four thousand dollars all right so moving on from some tips let's think of some questions like really 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 important questions that you have to ask when you're picking your dress number one question can this be altered can you try it on and you're like, oh, actually I have such a really, really small waist or I want it really, really long or I wanted this, can it be altered? Um, if it can be altered, how long is the turnaround time? If it's altered and you have to alter it in a different state or a different shop or a different anything, that could take longer. So you need to ask those questions. How long does it take to have that dress actually delivered to you? 
that's another question um when you try and address you fall in love with it it's perfect now it's time for them to you know for you to pay for the dress and you're asking them like okay so how long does it take you know if they tell you it takes about a month to two months and your wedding is the next month which i would never push it that close please don't but if that just happens to be your situation then i would suggest you uh either do expedited or find that same dress somewhere else uh, another important thing with wedding dresses is i know that most wedding dresses especially if it's like a big ball gown or something they do have a lot of uh fabric so the undergarment you can wear whatever but if you are more of the mermaid style the slim you know body hugging type of gown um then you will need to ask for the appropriate undergarment that you can wear with it to make sure it's not see-through to make sure that when you're sweating you don't see all the um, lines and everything because that will just ruin the whole experience especially when pictures are being taken you do not want to see your underwear and all your goodies under there yeah lastly if you are the bride that is like i know that i know that i know that i'm never going to have any use for this wedding dress ever again or i just want to rent it or you know you need to ask if the dress is refundable i do not think that it is um not a lot of people ref or return their dresses but it's good to ask if that is your uh if that is what you want but that is also something you should consider so um yeah that is all i have to offer for you guys today i hope this video was helpful i hope you enjoy wedding dress shopping and i feel pretty bridal myself um you know with all white and with you know <laughs> my church uh little church veil church hat mix combo whatever i forgot what they call these hats but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys will take these tips into consideration. I hope you guys learned something and I hope it is helpful. At the end of the day, the, me the reason why I am doing this series is to help someone, you know, where I didn't get help in a sense. You know, I had to figure this stuff out on the go. So I hope that it helps somebody. I hope that it is useful and I just hope for the best for you with planning your wedding because at the end of the day there is life to be lived after the wedding day and it is very important to make sure when you're planning your wedding you think about that and know that it's not just about the dress it's not just about the venue it's not just about the the whole production of the wedding but it's also about the marriage um, so I want to make sure that when you're planning your wedding you're not finishing all your money on the wedding and then there's nothing to go into the marriage with um but yeah those are just my tips and some questions that you can ask when you go wedding dress shopping but thank you guys so much for watching as i always say if you have anything that you like to see leave it in the comment section down below if you're new here welcome once again if you're returning thank you for coming back and please join the journey by subscribing down below turn on your post notifications so that you are alerted every time i post i literally post like almost three times a week and i don't want you to miss it if you want to binge watch my channel that is perfectly fine but it's also it's also nice when you guys come and you're watching the video and we can chat in our live chat that is always really fun but yeah that is all i have for you today thank you so so much for watching i'm your girl amuka stay blessed and not stressed and i am out would you join the journey, the Marcus journey?